All right, guys, that's the lap time. Spanning tree configuration lab. Welcome. We have a topology. We have four switches connected to each other. And in the first step, we need to create the topology above and determine the root bridge. And the question says me that spanning tree mode will be rapid PVST. All right. Second, force one of the non root bridge to be a root bridge by changing the priority value. All right. And the last step is force one of the number root bridge to be a root bridge, but don't change the priority value. Okay, let's go ahead with the first step. What I'm gonna do is I will configure spanning tree mode, rapid PVST, and I will check which is my root bridge. Okay. Conte spanning tree mode rapid PVST is the hook configuration. But if I use a question mark, I can see that I can also use the PVST too. In different chassis of switches and different iOS versions can support different types of STP. But in this question, it's saying me that to configure rapid PVST and my chassis is supporting this. So I'm using rapid PVST. I'm going to make the same configuration on switch two. Three. And the switch four. All right. I changed my configuration and I'm using rapid PBST right now. And now it's time to check who is my root bridge. I want to start with switch three and take a look at if it's my root bridge or not. To verifying the spanning tree, I'm using show spanning tree command. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. As you can see that <laughs> I found the root bridge at my first try. So how I got that? Because when I type show spanning tree, I saw that this bridge is the root output. If we check the another switch, for example, switch four, Oh, it's not typing. Okay, it's typing now. And if I run the short spanning tree command, as you can see that we don't see anything that is saying this bridge is the root. So, all right, step one accomplished. Let's take a look to the uh, second step force one of the non root bridges to be a root bridge by changing the priority value. As you can see that default priority value is 32,768. So, I'm going to make the 
switch port of switch 4 as my root page now by changing the priority value conf the spanning tree for vlan man i'm going to set the priority of this switch to a lower value than my default value but please pay attention that breed priority in increments of 4096 warning so it's okay that I can use 4096 because that's lower from my default value and lowering the priority means that I'm making, I'm forcing that switch to be the root. Okay. I need to wait for a few seconds. And let's do the show spanning tree command. As you can see that from the output this time Switch 4 is my root bridge. Switch 1 and switch 3 was the root bridge before. As you can see that. But now it's not root anymore. Okay, pretty cool. And let's get into the last step. The last step of the question is saying me that force one of the non-root bridges to be a root bridge but don't change the priority value. Let's make this switch one root bridge. Because of the question saying me that don't change the priority value, I just have one option to make this guy the root. All right. Spanning tree, real and van, and question mark. As you can see that I can see my option here. Root. Real and one root, question mark again. I can set the primary root or secondary root, but I'm gonna set the primary root. All right. When I tap the show spanning tree now, this time I should see that switch one is my root bridge. So let's hit the enter. Enter. And yes. I can easily see that this bridge, I mean switch one, is the root bridge right now. As you can see that pretty straightforward and so easy to configure the STP and we can have a few options to change the root bridge. And we completed the three steps too in the configuration lab and thanks for viewing.